Okay, we're, I, we uh, took some areas out that I don't want to hit. And you can see the platforms, and I'll abrade them again because I don't want this to be a failure because if I miss these, then the first thing you know you get, like we always make them smaller. And I, again, you, you know, you look at your tip, so those platforms should pretty much align themselves with that tip if I get them. And the caution is always uh, chance to miss it. Since I took part of it. Okay, we'll do these here. I don't think that was a good one. But okay, well. I'm sure we're taking a lot of it out, but it's still it's pretty rough in there. But we can live with that at this point, since we're only going to go after a mastodon if it does survive. <laughs> okay, now well. I've prepared some more because you can see where I'm at here. So the tip needs to come in more. The base needs to come in more. Okay. Pretty good. I can just keep pressuring some here to make it do a lot of things that we have. I got to do. And, and this is one that hit and didn't come off. But there's other areas you can come in there, and even on the other side. I'm back here at the tip, looking at it. Okay, you can see the line so that up in here it's about thin enough but I gotta do a little more reduction down in here And I just moved the platform around with this tool to get it aligned it where I want it. You can see I'm gonna bring it in a little more. And at this point, all these little flakes I'm taking off are just setting up that platform. And you can see some, you know, like this one, it's just too straight, so you just, to get the proper angle, and I look at it, if it's not exactly what I like, I just take another set of little flakes out of there. And a lot of this, <coughs> this here part is just from napping a lot. And that angle just tells you when it's, it's right. There's no gauge other than practically, if you can see how much taper is on it. That's all you can gauge is by what your own mind is telling you. Any low areas I take out so that it 
tells you where to hit. Now, so I don't want to hit here unless I'm hitting directly up. So what I'll do is I'll take a little out of there just so I don't hit that. Okay, ready for abrasion. Abraded. Even a lot of times, once I'm, I do all that, I braid it, and I look at it, and I say, well, that isn't going to work. So not always do they work, even if you think you got them right. Okay, so you start down here, save the center section as much as you can. For last, the center section. There's one that I didn't prepare right. You can see it's way too high. little gaps so you can uh, for little ridges and then you can take the center the low point out so you can come back and where I hit that other time it wasn't, the platform was not right. You know, the, the platform can be too far that way, too far this way. You can see when it sticks out, over where you want to go, then you, I just I'll flake it off too. These here, I can, these two are, or three, two are pretty well set up just for issues. I might, I'll even let those go till I do this other side a little more. So I gotta remove some of that. Sometimes doing this is enough abrasion to be able to run a flake off of there. Not always, but a lot of times that's all you need. And there I had a failed So take it out a little more.
can see I can use a lot of this side here to bring it in. And that's what we'll try to do. This flint's got a lot of, this side has a lot of impurities and I don't know what that is, a bullfrog eye or whatever, <laughs> but it's in there. It's a little fossil of something. See it's starting to shape up a little better. You can see I'm still fairly well aligned with the tip and the base. I want to do a couple of issue flakes like this one and these two here. <laughs> <laughs> 